Don't you oppress me. Now, that one isn't fair. Yeah. <laughs> That's our word. If we can say ours, <laughs> they should be able to say theirs. Yeah. You know? I'm not sure it is theirs. What? Oh, no, we made that we too. Can, we cannot say, <laughs> we cannot say the word, by the way. We can say <laughs> we can say synonyms, saltine, Ritz, cheese. Premium. It. It's premium. <laughs> premium was one, right? I don't know. I think that's what they give you at Chick-fil-A. I don't, crackers. I don't They can hear you. I meant it. I meant it as like <laughs> Good guy. They know. They know too much about me, Key. Yeah. You son of a bitch. I talk to you every day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said the second half of cheese and crackers on another stream, and I think it went okay. But I, I, I think it's all about context. Yeah. We do. We we do. We do apologize that uh, we are interrupting this NFL show with a. It's already loaded week. A lot happened. We, we yeah. got to get some stuff out before we can get into sports. A lot of shenanigans. A lot of chicanery. For me specifically, I. Had but one. but, but uh, yeah, it's, Tommy it's wants to get on his soapbox real fast, and uh, well, you know, not, it's, not, I'm not saying you're wrong to get on it. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying that you were like before. Yeah, I have. I, I, de I have a demand today. I got to get it off my chest. This okay. is a rare instance of Tommy displaying morals. So, <laughs> so we have to. Buy I have it. morals in regular life. It's just sports. I don't <laughs> have morals. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> true. Sports. I have no shame. No morals. Yeah. We'll go I'm to not Omar. sure you have Where's morals Tommy? in real life. <laughs> I do, actually. I'm pretty moral. You know? What have I done that's immoral? Just, I mean, we just talked about how much shit we stole last episode. I didn't say I stole anything. You, you I said I knew people who stole shit. <laughs> I've never stole anything, but I don't judge anyone who has. And, and, I get it. And you ghost a lot. What do you mean? Yeah, I mean, like, oh, yeah, I'll be there. You'd never show up. <laughs> <laughs> or you'll just show up briefly like, I got to go. But that's you guys. You know? <laughs> You know how I am, you know. That's, that wait, that's wait, the does, price of being does my that friend. Mean, does that mean you, you? Does that mean you don't go like on dates ever? Oh no, I do that. Oh, he lied. <laughs> no, I, I've done that. Everyone's done that. I have a rule when it comes to ghosting. Yeah. Like, I have. Oh, there's rules. Now. Yes, if I haven't met you, or if we went on one date and it, it was obvious that date didn't go well. Then yeah, you reserve the right to ghost. You reserve the right to go. You can ghost I, up to a point. This just, we're all conditioned at this point to be ghosted. Everyone's been ghosted. Have you been ghosted? Oh yeah. yeah. If you, yeah, one hundred percent. I don't. I don't have. get started. Yeah. <laughs> that is problem. true. I give you that. Because if, if they talk to me, I hook them and say and they can't escape. I, yeah, you got that verbally. dad energy. Exactly. <laughs> what? You make, stop that right now. I Your make, father energy. I make a point not to ghost because it sucks when it happens to you it sucks we're used to oh, it's it, terrible but it yeah, sucks. we are used to, oh it's horrible i've so, been ghosted a million times i got yeah. i ghosted somebody once and i felt all the captain yeah, guilt in my bad. soul and i felt awful for oh, like yeah. several days i like that captain 07 is like hey gertz uh no wait no it's josh man forever tommy is addressing the room everybody needs to take a knee L listen to what <laughs> tommy has to say thank you <laughs> josh also man gertz, can you back up and then put your seat higher if you can oh yeah am i good yeah, you're good. Okay, good. Short. I mean, I gotta change proportions whenever. Talk I like that shirt, by the way. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Bought it for five dollars. Is that a band? Or? It is a band. That's and a they were... great name. What's <laughs> the name excellent... of the shirt? Nightmare Titans. Mm, yeah, spooky. People... No, yeah, Nightmare. Though. People are always surprised when they meet me in person because they're like, you're tall. And it's like, do you think I'm just like an angry little man? They, I <laughs> no. think they think we're all short. They need, minus they, these two. They yeah. tell you uh, to get good. Is yeah, because I am right. the shortest person in this room, I think. I might be a little shorter what than What are Tom. you, six foot? I'm like six, one and a half. I'm just under I'm like six, six two. foot one. Six yeah. Two, yeah, Tommy and I are about the same height. Right. But like Marcos and Sammy are built like sequoias. <laughs> <laughs> thought you were about to say some Moans. <laughs> <laughs> Both are right. Both are right. Both are right. <laughs> <laughs> we are talking football today yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> but yeah no i had i had grievances i guess general grievances say. yeah general black people grievances this isn't a black excellence episode I'm i was, I was like you missed your chance yesterday bro <laughs> i had things to do was it was it a date what was her name did you have things the, or people yeah to do different. we all make the same <laughs> joke <laughs> all right sex is a thing to do i know I there know. you go but yeah no <laughs> <laughs> Back to the topic, egg hand. No. Hey, no, that was his show. Oh, that he put it in my head. <laughs> oh, that's great advertising. Be sure you need to, go to do back that. Back to the topic podcast uh, and, and visit Elijah. Yeah, He's please. He's gone now. He'll be back at the end of the month. You need, we need to start doing that so people get excellence instead of excellence. So when they want to say excellence, they say mexcellence. Why don't I've been trying to get you guys to do this? 
I mean, no, Tommy, it's a great idea. No, Tommy, it's all your idea. It's a great idea. I think everyone should listen to Tommy. Yeah, bro. Be excellent to each other. Yeah. We can do a whole Bill and Ted thing. Why haven't you thought of that? What do you do? <laughs> Tommy, it's a great idea. But it's only totally yours. It's only yours. Everyone listen to Tommy. That's what I tell everyone to do. You'll learn one of these days. One of these days. He's not putting. No, don't put the camera on him for the wink. Yeah, wasted <laughs> wink. <laughs> but no, I have grievances, Gertz. Oh, yeah? It's not your fault. I don't know why I came at you. Yeah, I can say, like, what I do. <laughs> but, like, so, look, I wake up every day. I look for black news because it hits home, you know? Right. Yeah, the trailer dropped. Oh, it was Black Trailer Day. <laughs> was that today or was that yesterday? That was yesterday. Yesterday. Yesterday, yesterday. yesterday was Black Trailer Day. Mm -hmm. But what came with Black Trailer Day was Kanye West and his White Lives Matters. Sweatshirt, whatever. Sweater? And uh, while we're at it, let's throw Candace Owens in a photo. <laughs> and Lauren Hill and well, Lauren Hill's daughter mm -hmm. and Bob Marley's granddaughter. Yeah, he well, wearing they, that too. They could have opted out of that. <laughs> they could have. Uh, well, they contractually obligated. Well, the thing about I feel like you could go to court for that. Look, one. man. The thing about Bob Marley is he had like twenty kids, and if you're talking about grandkids, it's like ninety, that's, right? Yeah, that's a lot of ways to spread that fortune. I understand why they did it. Don't put that on Bob Marley. I mean, I he's gone. To. We can't do that. Yeah. I mean, I love reggae. Well, Ziggy? I think that's <laughs> Ziggy's no, fault. I was, okay. I, was say, <laughs> I think it's Ziggy's Damien, fault. perhaps? <laughs> Could no. be Damien or Ziggy. Nah, they're, they're both super leftists. Their grandkids probably aren't, though. The thing is that, like, I, I love <sighs> reggae. Bob Marley would still be alive today if he just cut off his toe. Really? Yeah. How'd he die? He had toe cancer. He had skin cancer in his toe. So was all he had to do... Was it really that? Yeah. I, I thought, thought he had like lung or... I, everyone says it's lung because of the marijuana. No, no, because he was okay. a Rastafarian, which is men are not made to be taken apart, which is right. why he grew dreads and shit. It's like, all you have to do is cut off your toe, bro. And oh, man. I mean, like, Selena just had to not be Jehovah's Witness. Blood Selena? transfusions. Yeah. I thought you were just a good person. <laughs> oh, no. She took the good parts of it. And left the rest. No, I'm just saying, she, no, if she wasn't Jehovah's <laughs> okay. Witness, she could have got a blood transfusion, perhaps saved her own life. Oh, God it damn it. Don't tell me do things that. like that. Not Selena. By the way, when you said Bob Marley needed his toe... I love Bob, too. Well, I, when you said uh, Bob needed to get his toe cut off, for some reason I thought Jimi Hendrix, and I was like, wait, Bob Marley threw up and choked from that. No, that, that was, was Jimmy. That was, that was Jimmy Hendrix. There was no saving Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Legend. Love him to do. Love him there to was do. someone going back and being like, hey, bro... Yeah. yeah, yeah. If I went back in time, that would be one thing I'd do. No, you'd be too loaded with him. No, I would never, ever do the type of shit that of drugs. Okay, rather. let's say you did half the shit. You're still loaded. Like his drug That's tolerance is way I'm higher than. Do, how about I just say no that day? You will. You you can't say. Could you, you you think you could say no to Jimi Hendrix? <sighs> You can't even say no to me when I offer you a shot. <laughs> can. But, but, but it's hard. He <laughs> does every time. Yeah. It's all the little bad. It's do all the that you keep asking, to be honest. The many times drink. I've told all of you no. <laughs> the man doesn't drink, and you offer him every time. He's like, no, yeah. stop it, please. It's fine. We have the same birthday. I get <laughs> it. Bring that up. Just, yeah, we're like brothers. But no, right. like, so you know who's not a Jimi Hendrix? Kanye West. Yeah. He's terrible. Well, mm -hmm. he could have been on the ramp. He would have just shut the fuck up. He made good albums. He was good at, great at one point. At one point. After, what was it? Uh, Twisted Dark Fantasy. My, tw My Dark Twisted, Twisted Fantasy. Yeah, that was the last good thing he did. And ever since then, he's just been a dude who's ran out of ideas. As it happens, like, you know, once you go from one way of thinking to rich people way of thinking, mm. you can't. You write the same things you used to write or do the same things you used to do. It's just what it is. It's a change of environment. It's a change of habit. It's a change of your life completely. And that can affect creativity. And it totally affected his. So to be relevant, he decided, I will do whatever it takes. Because a Kanye West cannot not be in the news. Of course. He will lose his fucking mind more so than he already has. I mean, I thought he he really wasn't in the news for like two years at this point, and then oh, he's always oh no, he was in the something. rafters of the what, the Florida Stadium, the Jack yeah, Stadium. He That's the last something. I heard of him. It's it's just gimmicks and you know stunts now. Right. And that's what this is. Someone showed me an interview with him recently. Yeah. And it was the first time I had seen him probably in over a year. He wore a mask for a year. He looked terrible. Like, yeah, I mean, he looks like a man who's going through shit. Yeah. He, if he had like he, our money, he'd just be a divorced father. Oh, he was threatening Pete Davidson since that. It was the it was the Batman. Oh. Uh, it was the Phantom of the Stadium. Right. Then he violented no, Pete Davidson. You miss, a, you miss one, too. It was he dated Julia Fox. 
Um, Remember, like he, I don't. Okay, well, oh, that was a thing. Uncut Jams girl. No. Yes. I, yes. Yes. Oh. Okay. And now she yeah, just we're, we're, she dresses we're just in. Getting to that, Josh, man, the the, the Pete Davidson threats. Yeah. Well, no, we'll get to that one. This is before that. And that's yeah. that's understandable. It's Pete Davidson. <laughs> Gertz, we're not Pete. doing this. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I, I, it's not you know what? We actually have a tiebreaker here today. Huh? Taylor, is uh, Pete Davidson funny? <laughs> had this combo. That question was funnier than anything. Pete Davidson. I would want to hang out with a Pete Davidson. He's not funny to me either. No, I, that I could get behind. It's yeah. like, like he oh, seems like a chill dude. Yeah, yeah. Like, but is he funny? No. Do you talk yeah, about, yeah. He seems like a cool guy. Want to talk about Kanye West? Yeah. Okay. Oh, he has to. <laughs> Because this would be a blexcellence. This would be a whole episode, but we're not giving Kanye that. So we'll give him a pre-show. <laughs> That's about all he's really worth. This is now the semi-blexcellence? Do you think... Yeah, <laughs> Do you think he... Why is this so low? <laughs> be- because Sam is all torso. Like we know this. Yeah. So, like, if, if I had a choice to build a set for this topic right now, it would be like a, a set of people's court. Okay. Because I would have me and TJ <laughs> up on the, yeah, we would be up on the judges thing, and you guys would be plaintiff and defendant, but you're not fighting each other, you're just yeah. listening. Yeah. So, yeah. Did, so, did that photo of Kanye, did that come out yesterday? Which Oh, of the, of the White, White Lives, Lives Matter. Man, that was yesterday. Do you think he deliberately did that? On Black Panther Day? Exactly. Yes, I did. You do? Yeah, okay. I absolutely fucking yeah. did. Yeah, I, I believe that. That, that actually talks yeah. about curious. how powerful absolutely. the Black Panther series, I guess, is at he that point. He also found out Will Smith was dropping a, the Emancipation trailer. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. I don't he think he cared it. about that. You, if, well, I feel like he pre-planned this before the slap. So no, yeah. it was Will's fault. Shit done on Black Panther Day. That was dumb. Trying to get you that black clout. Get out of here. Terrible <laughs> Great story if you know the actual story behind it. I don't. Trailer. I don't want any more slave movies. It's a pretty interesting one. No, if you know the bad, story behind bad, it. Bad, bad, Tommy. Okay. Give me time to get you. Spoiler: Will Smith lives. What? <laughs> Go ahead. Give me a Nate yeah. Turner movie, or don't make anything at all. We had a Nate Turner movie, and Give the me guy, a good Nate Turner. <laughs> that's a whole controversy with that one because the guy got accused of doing things he shouldn't have been fucking doing, and no. he's a creep. And that's why his Nate Turner movie failed, which it shouldn't Nat have. Turner. Nat Turner. Yes. That's what we said. We said Nat Turner. I didn't say Nate Turner. So. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy did that just gas. I'm getting proud for the sports show. No, look. Sammy Lee Eyes gaslit. I didn't say shit. <laughs> That's what gaslighting is. That's all it is. It's just, you know, confident lying. But loud, no, look. No, so this is just a guy to me who's just irrelevant at the point and has ran out of ideas. So he just thinks of the dumbest shit you can think to do, and he does it. And he's so desperate, he will sell out his own people for it. See, here, here, here's um, how to describe this. Look. <laughs> The era, 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 right. excuse me, era of movies. Juice of Black Messiah should have been that signifier. We have enough slave movies. Talk right. about the 50s, 30s. We're not talking about 40s. Will today. No. We'll get to oh, Will. but back back to back, back to the nigga who hates <laughs> niggas. Yay. All right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, with Jay Z, I got a. So, did he, so get, did he have a tweet? Yeah, I'm coming in blind. Um, <laughs> I don't know what y'all talked about already, but but I don't know how. Like, there's no mental health. There's no nut. I'm not. I'm tired of dancing around excuses with Jay Z. Just had to, Why are we on Jay Z? No, excuse me, not Jay Z. Uh, Kanye. Kanye, my bad. <laughs> Jay Z's fucked like, up did, too. That is uh, a topic. Like, what did Jay Z do? No, no. <laughs> Jay Z like, is like, what did Kanye do? I was re- sorry. One of the things I was reading with Kanye. Yeah. Was like in relation with Jay Z. <laughs> not the point, but yeah. <laughs> So that was on me, but yeah. now with Kanye, like I'm like I'm tired of here. I'm like I'm no no more excuses. Just right. just like I was like fine. If, you like Trump? You're confused. You got you got a bunch of things, man. Hey, money, money, and losing Kim makes a nigga go crazy. Kids also, yeah. I mean, he wants to be with the kids. Yeah. If I saw my wife or ex wife, you know, with, with Pete, Pete Davidson, I would probably go crazy to you, too. I'm sure, I'd lose my mind. He seems like a nice. I would guy. hang out with him. I would feel like I dodged a bullet. If it's like if you're going with Pete Davidson, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> That's also true. Yeah. I would hang out with Pete, even if he was dating my ex. 
I don't know. I would not. I wouldn't. I would. Hang on. He seems nice. I would just be like, I'd be very judgmental towards my ex. I'd be like, really? He's not funny. It well, has butthole a, eyes. She is an ex. It didn't work for a <laughs> reason. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so like, and yeah. and that, that's why. It's like, it finds people like Pete Davidson attractive. Well, it's like, no. Oh, well. It looks scary. But hey, that should tell you confidence <laughs> and humor can really get you anything. He's the first ghoul on SNL. Jesus Christ. <laughs> looks like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord. It's going to roll to his he's grave. The, he's the yeah. first... <laughs> He's the, he's the I didn't mean to hijack your guys' like segment. No, no, that's fine. fine. <laughs> I, 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 I support all the Pete guy. Davidson slander that we can get. Because uh, I've just never... I mean, you tell me to watch King of Staten Island. Maybe that's a good movie. Um, it's an okay movie. Oh, it's an okay it's movie. Good, think, Wait, so it's a out. good movie. You know how it'd be better? You know how it'd be better? You know exactly how it'd be better. More Bill Burr? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, replace Pete Davidson with someone who can act. And be funny. So was the sides of the earlier thing I broke... Gertz and Marcos and you and Sammy, like y'all like Pete Davidson, y'all don't. Yeah, fifty yeah. fifty. Yeah. He's a, yeah. What's the problem? He's a, he's, a, he's a comedian who's bad at his job. He's not funny. I, I yeah. acknowledge he's not funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he seems like just a cool dude. I, I, we didn't say that was not the conversation. No, the we're conversation. talking about Pete Davidson, the person. So yes. Yeah, so no, no, no. Davidson. Yesterday, uh, no. Sorry, my I've started a new job, so Monday and Tuesday just blur into fucking PowerPoint yeah. presentations. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> but Sunday, you were like, no, he's funny. He's great in King of Staten Island. No, I didn't and you, say he was funny. I said he was good in King of Staten Island. It's a dramedy. You're already, so. You said he was funny on SNL. I never said he was funny on that. I never said he was funny. <laughs> we can run the tape. <laughs> I, I promise you, the tape would not help your hair. <laughs> I highly this doubt it would, help. <laughs> it would help. If it was sports, you'd be killing the back pedal drill it, right now. If it was sports, I plead the fifth. But no, movies and shit. No, like he's, no, he's not funny. In King of Staten Island, he's good. It's a good movie. I don't know what he could do outside of that. It's kind of like an Eminem Eight Mile type deal. It's it's based on his life, so you can't yeah. really fuck that up. Loosely based, whatever. But yeah, I mean. Yeah. Time out. We in in so, so, I was getting distracted. Kanye sucks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah time out. Pete Davidson yeah, slander aside. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what he wants. Yeah. He wants you to get to thinking about, man, Kanye's crazy. But you know what's crazy? Topic. Kim going with Pete. Uh, and then you just. Yeah. One second. Everyone be quiet. Uh, Tommy's mic is not working. Oh. Oh, yeah. You unplugged it. Did I? Yeah, yeah. I didn't go. mean to do that, that. That should be working now. You were, King, you were so stressed over being caught over liking Pete Davidson. No, I'm okay with it. Yeah. Fine, cause I, he said, I never said that, Unplugged Mike. <laughs> no. No, no, no. He no, no, it. I think I... Yeah. He's also so loud. He was uh, he was coming in through Gertrude. Yeah, everyone right. can hear me. <laughs> you're, they're saying you're back. So, nice. Yeah. Good, because this is what I wanted to nah, say. No, no, unplug your mic again. Unplugs. <laughs> 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 and Free Davidson Guy is a great <laughs> movie. <laughs> free Guy? <laughs> Shit. No, I'm fucking with you. No, it's not. It's, it's a movie. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. You know how I feel about <laughs> I this. Like, it's on the tier of under Jared Kanye. Goff, which is really hard Let's to do. Let's get back on track. <laughs> really hard. Kanye. Stop distracting us. <laughs> what That's more, not me. What, you. what more is there to say about Kanye other than he sucks? He does suck. Out. But no, he's just, yeah, he's a sellout. He will sell his people out mm -hmm. just for attention. He's not a good artist anymore, which is why he's doing this. Yeah. And that's just kind of my opinion. He's just a desperate, sad, pathetic man more than anything. And like, I could sit here and be like, I don't like him. I don't. I've scrubbed <laughs> his shit from every playlist I've ever had long ago. It was when slavery was a choice. But if, if you're one of those people that like, person gets three strikes this is strike three mm -hmm. so it's just like come I mean, on yeah I, my, my whole thing was like you know like <sighs> there's a lot of things i can kind of sort of change gently like be like all right like you know when he was going through all this trump stuff i said at the end of the day yeah you know it's an opinion thing politics everybody's thing whatever right. i mean certain i'm realizing more and more every day that People who talk about politics don't even actually know what the hell they're talking about. Yeah. I, I actually asked somebody, it's like, what's foreign affairs? Typically the loudest yeah. people. Tell me, yeah. tell me what foreign affairs is. Couldn't say anything. And yeah. I said, okay, cool. Then you actually, then why are you backing a president on what you don't know? Can you tell me the difference between the debt and the deficit? That'll get most people. <laughs> <laughs>
That's true. It's a good, hat. It's a good life hat. Yeah. yeah, right. I saw John Stewart mix those up once, and I was like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, and he no, retired no. the next day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, I, I was like, because you know, just this is this is my side. Uh, I was explaining to people that you know, surprisingly, people like to blame and attribute the president to gas prices. Not really how it works. Yeah. No. Uh, they actually don't do that much. <laughs> towards they that really point. don't. Yeah. They just get the credit or get the slack. Uh, Trying to take the politics out of it, like uh, a head coach. Because, because, uh, like, look, the whole thing was like, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people were coming back and being like, when Trump was in office, gas was low. I was like, there was also a global pandemic, and oil demand was really no low. one was yeah. on the road. So, like, yeah. that's how yeah. it works. Yeah, you don't attribute the great pots to him, and then hey, if, even if everything gets solved while Biden's in office, I'm not going to attribute I, that solved to him. I, Russia's in war. I, <laughs> I, I filled up my gas tank twice during the like peak pandemic over the course of like a year and a half nice. i filled up on gas twice did so you order all your groceries cost you all I, ten dollars yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, or, I ordered them for a long time and that's then, why and then afterwards i just did curbside pickup for everything <laughs> and i didn't have to drive to the office so like when that i was saving me a lot of money yeah when yeah. i was driving to the office i was driving 20 miles a day to, like 10 miles on food, open miles roads yeah yeah so now <laughs> like 28 days later yeah i rarely i still rarely drive now yeah there's a saturation of people like i mean people are rubber banding back they're catching up of travel yep planes are more, there's so many different everyone's integers. back to normal pretty everyone's, much like everyone's back part. to normal yeah, yeah. And there's so many different integers that i'm just like if anybody would take five seconds it's really not that hard to think of like oh Biden doesn't control the gas. Trump doesn't. Control, don't, don't attribute your president to gas prices. That's hey, not really how, how about it works. this? If everyone switched to like riding a bike for a month, watch how gas prices go. I mean, <laughs> I'm, you're not going to bike from your place. To no, it is. Place. That's what I'm no, saying. Because yeah, cyclists suck. <laughs> <laughs> or buses. <laughs> yeah. And then no, I also, this is Austin, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyone tell me like, oh, if you know that if more things were put into renewable energy, gas prices would also go down. But that's the point. Right. Uh, too much thinking for people. That's too much. I think Kanye, I mean, I mean, he was definitely brilliant at things a while ago. At one point. Yeah. yeah. And you can be brilliant at things. At one point in your life. Without being a genius. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you can be a brilliant producer, Especially a brilliant if you singer. spell it the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, he's a guy that was called the voice of a generation. Yeah. And a genius. So, yeah. this guy. He's not my voice. He's not he the voice of any sure. generation. So, no black person, I'm sure. That's what happens <laughs> when you have enough people lauding you and calling you just a genius, like a blanket genius, not brilliant at a specific thing. Right. Like this, this is kind of what's going to happen. They didn't specify like musical genius. They right. just said genius. genius. He's a genius. And he's like, is oh. He a, is he a I member mean, of Mensa? Yeah. I don't think he is. That means I can Some, comment on anything. <laughs> spelling genius that way. Some yeah. tells me he's not. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I, I don't bet know. I'm a bigger genius than him at Tetris. <laughs> oh, no. I fuck Kanye up in Tetris. Can't touch me in DDR. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I feel like he might. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. I actually, that's probably some random shit he's really good at. He's like, I'm DDR have champion seen, of the world. Have like, you seen uh, Kanye recently? He looks too sad to dance. <laughs> he, he doesn't I mean, I've also smile seen anymore. some. I remember He's some big smiled. kids back in high school that were great at DDR. Yeah, <laughs> it's about the feet, baby. It's got yeah. that move. Got into a physical altercation with a fan. The man's life is crumbling. Like I mean, I, said, I would fight Kanye if, if he was. I oh yeah, and I would watch. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> I would watch. And, and somehow in my head, and, and the worst part. This is the worst part about it. He's still not the most problematic Negro on the internet. Not even. <laughs> I still you you think there's people less pro like Cand you brought up Candace Owens she's probably more problematic than Kanye. The platform's not as big. I look at platform, and also Con she went in front of Congress to defend her points. Yeah, Congress's fault for even inviting her. <laughs> I you don't invite her to anything. Kanye <laughs> also like had a fall from grace. Like you know, like there's a time where people lauded him. And now it's like if you, oh. he's making if whole you're albums on black no Twitter drum bass. and yeah. you support, how <laughs> can you look at this? Crazy. Next, I want you to explain. I, that's why I said the Trump thing. Maybe, maybe you can abstractly, like, because that's just people's opinion. But oh, come on, like, I mean, that's as clear oh. as day. You can't rock a shirt. Man. <laughs> the Trump thing didn't surprise me because he's rich. <laughs> I mean, yeah, well, I make yeah, a mistake. He does not have surprise. a big a platform. That, out of all of them, though, that was the thing that least surprised. Kanye only sold three hundred and nine thousand albums. Look at of, followers on his Insta. Or, yeah, but that's people hoping that he fails. That, that's, they look at his messages. He wrote a whole message that said "Black lives don't matter." Now that's over. I was shit. just talking. I'm not saying that his yeah. message isn't crap. I'm saying that he doesn't have the following that you think he has. Because I, I was talking about social media following. Oh, not out. No one buys albums anymore. I mean, oh, was those, were those streaming numbers? Yes, all units. Uh, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> that is too much. Uh, I think we're in the middle of a no, high train. Still, 
Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. oh, we're getting close. Yeah, no, yeah. he's still Shout out successful to you, as shit. That. But like, that's the problem. <laughs> this is like why. I like my I like my problematic flavors to come in, you know, Antonio Brown flavor, not like. Oh man, that's a different kind of. Oh, Are we I talking know. About that? Yeah, we gonna get to that because that's why I was saying. There's, okay. uh, there's equal problematic Negroes. <laughs> oh, he's a Kanye West of sports. Everyone, that's why they were hanging out at one point. Like it makes that made total sense. Oh, that's right, they were. Out of everything those two have ever done, that made th- with Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, yeah. So that all made sense. <laughs> like that was like yes, they found each other. Yeah. The, the stars of have a line. Negroes, nigga. Like, <laughs> Mercury is in retrograde. Imagine they, is, you know. They'll do the fusion dance. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that, that would be too powerful. That's the reason he thought he could be a rapper and went on like a, he did a concert, which you said you liked. No, I'm glad. no I didn't. Is that you? No. Whoa. whoa, whoa. Someone said they liked You're throwing it. slanderous statements. Someone said here. it was a good concert. I don't know who it was. It might have been Jordan. I do get my black guy. Oh, that was him. That was not you? No, I said somebody. He, bro, he's just shooting everyone out. It was you. It was you. It was Marcos. you. It was definitely Marcos. <laughs> was like, I know Marcos got Kanye's entire playlist. I, get, up. I, I started to bro, get. The I didn't even like High School up. Dropout. Or he the really book. didn't. Yeah. yeah. It's a good album, but oh, Kanye is an awful there. person. That one's a good yes. one. uh, nah, bro. I, saw, <laughs> I can't. I can't. I, can't I, I saw the now. path. It, I let it go, and it didn't bother me, bro. It's like in episode all. one. I would have killed Anakin. Like I just knew where it was yeah, going. I would have too. Yes. <laughs> that, would have been, that would have saved us so much trouble and bad stories. As soon as I heard that kid say yippee, I was like, he's got to go. <laughs> I, just, I just heard a slave say yippee. <laughs> That's a problem. No. <laughs> Slaves could say yippee. About what, Tommy? <laughs> what does that kid have to say yippee about? Yippee, I ran away from my slave. <laughs> he didn't. He did not run away. <laughs> he was in servitude when he said that. Not in that trailer. He didn't say yippee. No. <laughs> well, oh God! Yeah, no. Slaves have voices too. That's the it's, issue isn't that he said something. So you hate black people? It's that he expressed happiness. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. I'm just boiling it down. <laughs> it's that he expressed happiness while he was being a slave. He's a child. <laughs> it's just not, a child like a, slave. Yeah. Does that make it better? That sounds like a sociopath, dude. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you were a child and a slave, I'm pretty sure you would look It's at an alien dude. Uh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking history. I think he's thinking fantasy dude. world, and we're getting it all. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're talking about Anakin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He was not black nor owned by a southerner, so yeah, you're right. <laughs> Okay. He was owned by. In context of Star Wars. He was owned by a, a racist stereotype alien. <laughs> 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 one of one of many racist stereotypes yes. he would come across in his early life. <laughs> Jesus, this is fun. All right. <laughs> well, it's about to get less fun because I'm going to start the show. Right. Okay, okay, good. No, it's going to get funner. 